Hi guys, Anita Fanita here. How is everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, oh my God, guys, I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> it's been, I think, about two weeks almost that uh, I was on the last time. But I didn't forget where we ended, so we're going to continue from there. Uh, first, we're going to do the question of the day. Uh, in, the in the question of the day video, uh, nobody got the answer correct. So I did go ahead and show the items and so that someone did get it correct and the correct answer needed to be on the original video, which I had posted uh, the link. And the answer is, um, let me show you the item first. The item was this one here, a brooch and a necklace. And I asked you guys um, which designer uh, made the item and the designer was Lee Sands. Oh, <laughs> what was that noise? Which is here on the clasp, LS. So we did have a winner. I'll let you know who it is in a sec. Okay. Uh, I did take a photo of the winner here. Okay. Uh, the winner is... Where did the picture go? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hang on. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. So the winner is uh, Vicky, Vivian uh, Colic. And she gets Lee Sands on the Ladybug question of the day right over here congratulations vivian thank you everyone for participating uh, we're going to have another uh, question of the day today and let me just show um, vivian what she won and i always pick out things from that um, that item that i opened that day the, the jewelry lot um giving away these beautiful earrings uh faceted beads uh heart rhinestone brooch and then we have um these earrings here the clip-ons these are really pretty gold and silver tone and also these bangles here because they are new and they have kind of like a gold leaf design and then i decided to go ahead and add this gemstone bracelet as well so please go ahead and send me an email uh with your shipping info and i'll mail it out to you uh, the email link will be below Okay, guys, the question of the day today is kind of easy. <laughs> so what I'm going to ask is uh, for the question of the day, uh, I want you guys uh, to write down in the comments uh, which uh, the jewelry that I'm wearing in my jewelry group, which is called There's Always Room for Jewelry, who made that jewelry uh, that I'm wearing uh, in the photo. And uh, I'm going to put the link below of my jewelry group. If you haven't joined already, please go ahead and do so. It's a wonderful uh, jewelry group where you can put, post your finds and, and all, all kinds of goodies. And you can get, um, and there's a lot of um, members in there that know a lot, a lot about jewelry. You can post uh, questions and things you have about jewelry in there as well as photos. Uh, it's called There's Always Room for Jewelry. I will put the link below. And the question of the day is who made the jewelry that I'm wearing in the in the picture uh, in the photo, in the cover photo. Okay. <laughs> I, guys, I, I uh, probably shouldn't have any more coffee. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and open this one. This is, again, another $200 bag. This bag is not $200. Uh, two together are. So this is going to be part one, and then I'll do part tomorrow in the next video. So these are purchased for 200 and oh boy there's a lot of goodies in them i'm really happy with uh, with these bags and every time there is one i do go ahead and purchase more so, okay so let me turn this around so we can see what we have okay then i did get a new table <laughs> cloth let me know how it looks guys the dark blue one uh what what happened was i was testing jewelry and you should really wear well you should definitely wear gloves and always put it somewhere safe maybe put a cardboard underneath because what i did was uh, i did you know put the acid on the on the stone and it, it kind of like dripped off of the stone and it, it uh burned a hole <laughs> in my tablecloth so i did go ahead and get a new one okay so with that said let's go ahead and see what goodies are in here okay oh this is cool hang on guys this is some kind of Aztec calendar looking medallion. And it says Montezuma tequila. Some kind of tequila drink, I guess. Never heard of it, but it's a medallion. It's really cute. Gold tone. Okay, we have that. Let me get the jewelry out of the way, guys, before, before they get lost. There we go. 
April. And congratulations again to the winner. Okay. What is this? I have a necklace with beautiful crystals on here. And I'm just, this is probably, my, yeah, magnetic clasp. Beautiful stones, very sparkly. Okay. And we have, and this is some kind of gemstone and rhinestone little ball here. It's a stretchy bracelet. It's pretty. I see one here in blue. So we have the pink and the blue. Those are cute. I like those two colors together. Okay, we have some in, in bags here. Okay, this is glass. No maker's marks. Lovely colors. Beautiful glass beads. This is another glass one. And what's going on here? <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's three strands. Four. <laughs> four strands. Maybe more. Hang on, guys. Let's see. One, two, three. I see four strands and they, they're a little tangled but there we go <laughs> and there's some charms here little flowers filigree looking okay it's cute i like the colors very pretty okay so so far so good oh it's cute is this matching here yeah, it just might be yeah, it has the same color stones on here, so this, and it has the same clasp, so, well, wait a second, it's stretched. <laughs> it's a stretchy with the magnetic clasp. That's kind of weird, so it is a set. Okay, so very sparkly and cute. Oh, owl. Okay, we have an owl. There's always usually an owl in these jewelry lots. And we, this one looks like an owl, too. Oh, that's cute. That's cute, bezeled. Little stones here. Very cute. Um, no marks. Gold tone. Cute, cute little owl. Okay, we have an earring. It's pretty. Black and fuchsia stones. And we have some lava beads. Did I say it right this time, guys? Did I say Last time I called them volcanoes and I don't know what not. And I think somebody, uh, one of one of my viewers wrote in the comments that they're lava beads. I I think that's what she said they were. Okay, so pearl, bow pearls and some lava beads. If I'm wrong again, please put it in the comments because I don't know everything, guys. <laughs> okay, another stretch bracelet with some paisley looking designs in there. Okay. Um, plasticky beads. Okay, the clasp is broken on this one. Okay, we'll put that in crafts. Okay, we have another baggie. Okay, we have some shells and plastic beads. Okay, this this will be something cute to wear if you want to look tropical, like you're on some kind of island trip. With the hula skirt. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is pretty. It's in the back. I love these. I've gotten a lot. Well, not the same exact one, but I've gotten a lot of brooches in these bags, and they're really beautiful. Look how pretty it is. Sparkly purple stones with pink and purple. Very beautiful, and I don't see anything missing. It's gorgeous. I love that color. Okay, we have some stretchies here with white stones, and this is just plasticky over here. And like I said, I have another bag here. This is bag bag one, part one. I do have another one, and this is Talbot. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Talibots or Talbots? 
I think it's Talbot, if I'm not mistaken. And they do make really nice um, jewelry pieces. And they do, they are, um, what, what do you call it, um, super trendy. And people seem to really like this brand. And they do sell really well. So it's in really good condition. Sparkly. Got some faceted beads in here. And there, it's, it's a pretty long one too. So this will look really, really cute on the little black dress. So. I'm not wearing a little back dress, guys. <laughs> not until I lose a few more pounds, but there's someone out there who is wearing one. Okay, what else here? This is really pretty. Look at that. Ooh, everything is on here. I see some amethyst, pearls, glass, maybe glass, like rings on here. You know what? They might even... Um, I don't know. I think these are gemstones. I'm not. If I'm not wrong, there's some. Yeah, there's gemstones. Uh, look at that. This is so cute. Moon glow, tiger's eye. There's every. I think this is carnelian. I don't know, but th there's pretty much everything on here, and it's long, and beautiful. This is cute. This is a good find. Another stretch. Mm, oh, another brooch, guys. Another brooch. <laughs> oh, I love these brooches. Okay. Oh, a nice royal blue here. Very rich. And the clasp is working. Very pretty. Cute. I like that too. Put the brooches aside. Okay. Oh, another stretch. More stretchies here. What is this one? Jones, New York. Has little rhinestones on this bead here. It's pretty. And another stretch. These are plastic. Cute. Got some plastic. These are interesting. It's cute. They're not broken or don't have scratches. It's a fashion kind of runway looking necklace here. Looks to be in good condition. Put that aside. We have another stretch beaded one here. Oh no, okay. I don't like this bead color, this coloring, so this is gonna go into crafts. Okay, we have a plastic marble looking bangle have another bracelet this looks like silver oh guys what did i do with my book there oh, did i forget to bring it oh no i hope not i don't want to get up okay <laughs> i needed the lazy oh here it is okay i found one here Let's see if the magnets we can get up first no. I do see some marks in here. It is a cuff. Okay, it says 925. And then there's a little square with, I think it looks like an R in the center. Okay, it needs to be cleaned up. Other than that, it's pretty good condition. Okay, so we found some sterling. <laughs> And another owl. This is the third owl. <laughs> oh, his nose is worn out. Has wear on the nose. It's so cute. Okay, no marks. Let's see some cat's eye beads here. That is cool. All different colors. And the clasp, I don't think this is silver, no. Okay, so the clasp needs a little bit of cleaning, but other than that, they're in pretty good condition. I like the colors. Okay, we have a stretchy here. Okay, Betsy Johnson. 
We have, okay, there it is. Okay, tag Betsy Johnson, some cheetah prints here, and hearts and sparkly things here. It's pretty. Oh, that's cute. The back of the heart's cute too. We have another heart. Ooh. Some tangles. And oh, guys, uh, I I don't know if I told you in the other vid. Well, the other video was the was the brooch. The Tiffany and Co brooch was uh, was a real brooch. Uh, was gold. And I'll be putting that up um, probably today. <laughs> I'll put that up today for you guys. If anybody's interested, it's going to go for a pretty... I'm going to put it up for a high price uh, because they, there aren't too many out there. And the ones that are listed are, are going for high prices. So I will put that up. Okay, so just the dangly uh, charm necklace here that says love cute it's in really good condition no makers but pretty and we have some beads here with the toggle clasp no maker marks it's in really good condition very nice rich gold here and we have a statement piece here with some spiky beads on here no marks <laughs> okay oh we have a ring stretchy it's a flower with some rhinestones that's cute <laughs> look how big it is <laughs> okay what else do we have look at this Woo! <laughs> sparkly sparkly I'm looking in there and oh, there's a mark in there. Okay, it says, what does that say? Oh boy. Hmm. Very hard to read. Wow. Can't see. Why you? H O N G and something on top. I don't know, guys. Uh, but it is gorgeous. I have to really, really look at this to see if it's missing anything. It has beautiful fuchsia and clear rhinestones, and then the clear ones here. Some pink, and I see some AB stones too. This is really beautiful. Look how gorgeous this is. Wow. I love this. I have to figure out what it says. Um, but it does have a little cartouche in there, as you can see. So this is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Let's hope. Let's cross our fingers. Let's hope nothing is missing on there. Okay. Uh, we have a rhinestone stretchy. I'm here talking, <laughs> but I haven't asked you guys how you guys are doing. You know, is everything opening up where you are? Um, they, they've only opened up two, uh, Goodwills here. Um, they have some open in Hollywood, but as far as, uh, Glendale goes, there's only two here. But, uh, what about where, where in your States, guys, are they open there? Uh, it says Japan. Yeah, I can't wait till all of them are open. The ones that are open don't have jewelry jars. Hopefully they will. Tomorrow or the next day, if they do, I will go ahead and purchase them. But yeah, so they're not all open. Um, I'm just curious to know if they're all open where you guys are. I know a lot of states have them all open. Some don't have any, <laughs> but um, we have two so far. Okay, it's a cute little statement piece here. Beautiful blue, green kind of stones. And this. Oh my gosh, whoa, what is going on here? This is huge, okay. I get a lot of these guys. <laughs> They're either ivory or bone, I don't know. Um, 
one, two, three, four strands. Look like elephants on here. And yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is this here? I don't know what these are. I don't know if these are wood or seeds. They look like little wood, little wooden beads, tiny. And then this is the clasp. Okay. It's a long one too. Oh, that's cute. It's a butterfly. Maybe it was a keychain. Marks. Okay, we have another stretchy pretty heavy one with some cross charms if I have it the wrong way yeah it's cute and we have this one here green statement piece oh mermaid oh here's the made to it that's so cute Cute little mermaid earrings. The makers? No. Okay, so we have this, and I do see a tag. This one is Charming Charlie here. The little CC. Pretty good condition. We have that. And we have some kind of gemstone here. A little cross here as a little charm at the end and I thought it was a togo but no <laughs> it's a little hook over here that's interesting it says a b stones gemstones I don't know what stones these are but I, I'll test them with my gem tester okay oh I see an earring with the mate here, green, snake print. Oh, it has zebra backs here. Usually they're hooks, no makers. This is cute. These are cute. These will go. These will go cute. Actually, these will go cute with these. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. okay. And we have a bracelet, black stones. No makers. It's pretty and sparkly. Okay, we have another stretchy with some kind of gemstone on here as well. Very cold. And I do like that it's on the, the, the better kind of elastic here. Where if you pull it, it's not going to break. I like it when, it when they put it on those, so that's good. Oh, a shell. A shell that's gold brushed here. It's a pendant. Cute. Very cute. And we have an abalone here. Wow, it's a nice pendant. I don't think that this is sterling. Not picking it up, but it doesn't look sterling. You know how sometimes you just look at it and you know? <laughs> I don't think it is, but it is a pretty piece. Lovely. Beautiful. These two beach looking kind of mermaid jewelry. Oh, look more. <laughs> they have some shell, seashell looking earrings here. These are pretty. They're inlaid shells and abalone and mother of pearl and some other stuff. And it's just black on the other side. Very cute. Okay. We have another stretch bracelet. Again, on the good kind of elastic. See a fish, a cross, a star, a bird. What does that symbolize, guys? Is that peace or is that some kind of symbol for something? Or I don't know. 
and there's no marks but it does have some glass and some plastic okay. oh this is pretty oh it's stretch okay very nice faceted beautiful colorful has some faux beads here has good stretch they've used a good elastic as you can see and some kind of chain over here that's interesting okay we have some more gems here we have jade coral tiger's eye um, amethyst i don't know what this one here is maybe about this i'm not sure and i i don't know if the findings are silver let's see no no marks sometimes they use silver clasps for gemstones sometimes they don't i don't think that they used one here but they did do a really good job um you know with the with the different colors that they used i like it oh ab stones here and again they didn't use a silver clasp on this one either but this look how sparkly that is very clean so what you can do is probably just change out this part here but you know you don't even need to do that if you just clean it it's going to go in the back it won't show really cute okay another stretch some jade beads here with the with the string you know the pull clasp kind of okay more necklaces this one has one two strands and they're kind of like the cha-cha beads we have some here with rhinestones and these are plastic here and the faux pearls so far i liked everything that came out of here okay we have another rhinestone stretch these are really cute if you have multiple ones like see if you put a few of them and stack them together and wear them they look really cute and i do see another one here <laughs> these are almond shaped on this one we'll put them together uh we have oh look at how cute a pink rhinestone ball on some pearls pink stretch another stretch here with rhinestones two strands oh look at that i like this it has the rivet in the back so it's an older piece cute little brooch these are nice and we have some kind of druzy looking statement piece here it's a peach color looks a bit worn oh hearts so cute that is cute and i see something here avon the avon heart very pretty and it's not discolored or anything it's beautiful um, ooh, ooh. earring grape <laughs> let me see mm, no i thought this was monet because of the back look at how the back is shaped here but it's not no okay we have another earring here with a little stud inside it here and, and 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 this one outside is the jacket of it and i do see a mark here it's premier design so it's a little one here with the jacket and This definitely looks like a Brighton 
I'm looking for a tag. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. It's a little B. So we have a Brighton piece. Two tones. I don't see any stones on here. It's just two tones with flowers and stationed different other charms here. Really cute and long. So we have a gorgeous Brighton piece here. Okay. That aside, and we have some pearls. One, two strands. Okay. And another stretchy and some little rhinestones in there. And we have a bangle with some cha cha beads. <laughs> These are glass. And I have another stretch bracelet here with a little firefly. Okay, some more glass beads. No makers, it's olive color. Okay, what do you guys think of the glass bead bracelets? Do you, I mean, the necklaces? Do you like glass beads? Some of them I find to be very nice and attractive and really good, good ones, uh, especially the colorful ones. Like this one for me, I don't really, I don't really like, I, I'm not going to say I don't like it, but it, this isn't something that I wouldn't, I would pick out. But as far as I did see some here, like this one, see the multiple color ones? These I like. I guess I'm just a colorful <laughs> person. Okay, we have another stretch here with faceted uh, beads and some rhinestone little beads here in this uh, between them this is really pretty and sparkly of course another oh boy oh my goodness no do not pull <laughs> it's about to break i'm going to put that in crafts what is this here guess okay it's a guess necklace with a heart charm really cute and believe it or not uh guess in some states is really popular and a lot of people are do purchase guest items at one time i was just I, what i was doing is just putting them in in craft lots and putting them with other jewelry items but now i do sell some of these separately because they are um, uh, they are popular in a few states where they really love guests and they purchase it so this is going to be something that they will because it's a heart of course it's a heart and there's people that love hearts and this kind of chain here, um, I'm sure a lot of people would love that. So this goes in my cell pile. Oh, and the glass earring here in red. And no marks that I can see. Okay, we have ooh, earring, another earring. I see some writing on here, Napier. Napier earring, another earring, and we have another faceted bead stretch. This one, I'm not even going to attempt to stretch this. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, look at this, guys. You could see already the color of it. It's turning kind of like a yellowish green color where it's, if you pull it a little bit, it's going to break. The reason why I'm not going to pull it is because I don't want it to break, and I'm just going to put it in craft so someone else can restring yeah. these because it doesn't look like anything is missing. It just needs to be repaired. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty. Let's get that color. Okay. And, all right, I got some tangles going on here. This is really, oh. Well, it's just a loop that I can put back inside here. But it is pretty. Oh, something fell. Got it. <laughs> Oh, there's way too much wear and dirt here on the, at the end here. More wear. It's not really dirty, it's just worn out. But someone can remove the stones and use it or even use these areas for a craft project is why I would put something like this in crafts. Because these are things that you can use for crafts, these pieces here. So crafts you go.
Ooh, that is interesting. Look at this bracelet. It has a ruffled um, edges here and rhinestone in the center. Never seen anything like this. Ooh, that is so cute. I like that. No maker's mark, but it's very, very clean and very girly and frilly. <laughs> it's cute. That is, that is cute. I might show that to my daughter. She might like that. Okay. We have the famous purple here. <laughs> I know there's a lot of you out there that love purple. So here we have the statement necklace of dangly balls. <laughs> I don't know what to call them, guys. You think of a name here for these. I'm calling them dangly uh, statement dangly balls here because I don't know what else to call them. They're cute, though. And I have, I have quite a few of these that I've saved for myself. Uh, there's no makers on this, but it's really cute. They look really cute on. And I do have, like I said, a few for myself that I've saved. And what is this here? Some glass again. Yeah, glass beads here. Black and gold. Really long strand over here. So, guys, so far I'm happy. <laughs> With the slot. Okay, this one's cute. It's like a Celtic knotted one there. Okay, what is this? Some crystals. A cute little heart clasp. Yeah, it does say 925 on here, so. I don't know if all the metal here is sterling, but that one is. What is this? I don't know, guys. Looks kind of weird here. It has two little, little loops here that don't belong. I don't know. Maybe. Well, it doesn't really make sense right now, but when I clean it, maybe it will. Okay. So this is sterling, um, is what I'm guessing. The chain. Okay, what is this? Two strands. D. Okay, this is the UNI brand here. I always think that this is a D, but it's not. Some really nice um, beads on here, but they are plastic. They're bezel sets, but they're plastic beads. So, nothing is wrong with them, so I'm going to put them aside. Oh, another stretch ring. This one's the cha-cha ring. Okay. And another shell here. Oh, I see some writing. 18K GP. So, it's gold-plated. Okay, so it's a pendant. So I do have quite a few here of beach uh, jewelry. I might have to lock them up. Ooh, look at that. A lion with rhinestones and it's the bale. No marks. It's a really nice piece for Leo's. And Leo season is coming up soon. I'm a Leo myself. So I'm thinking about it right now as I'm looking at it if I should keep it. <laughs> but it, it is really cute. Okay. Okay, this is a bracelet here. Uh, no marks on here. No, nothing. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's there was something hanging here. I don't know. But let's see. Let's see if I can if I can close this. Mm, let's see. Oh, nope. Um, okay, guys. I'm having trouble. <laughs> it's not fitting my wrist, so it's pretty small. Then it's pretty small. Maybe this piece over here is, needs to be added, or this needs to be at the end here so it'll reach. 
I'll figure it out. It does have some really nice stones on here, so I don't want to just toss it. I want to try to fix this and see what happens. Okay, we have some beads. I'm at 39 minutes. I better hurry up. <laughs> okay, we have a ring. Another ring. More stackable rings. Oh, where's my magnet here? Okay, it's not picking it up. Okay, no marks. Okay, so we'll see what those are. Okay, we have a necklace here with a toggle clasp, some glass beads. Ooh, look at that. Wow, I like that. This is nice. It's a beautiful necklace with faceted bead. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, you know what? This can definitely be repaired because it's not missing anything and it just needs to be reattached. So we can fix that as long as nothing else is missing. And nothing is missing. It's really beautiful, guys. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so this was in my keep. I'll figure out how to put that back together. Okay, we have some gemstones here. And again, it's Talbots. And these are real gems on here. And this one here, I guess, got detached, which that's a very easy fix. All you need is a thin nose plier, and this will come back to life today. <laughs> and another stretch. Oh my god, I'm going to try and hurry up. I don't want to pass the hour. I hope you guys had popcorn with you guys. Okay, so this one here is um, a gemstone as well. Oh my god, I forgot what the name of this one was. Uh, it's not the lapis. It's the other one. No, I forgot, guys. I don't. Sometimes I just can't remember, and it's on at the tip of my tongue, and I can't remember what it is. But it's not the lapis one. It's the other. It's the other uh, stone with the more white in the in it. So why can't I remember? <laughs> okay, it'll come to me by then. By by the time we end this. Okay, so we have. Oh, oh. Okay. See, this is not good. We have some more lava stones, but yeah, it needs to be redone, so it's going to go into crafts. And we have, oh guys, I think this is sterling. Okay, I do not see any marks, but I'll bet you that this is sterling. It is native kind of looking with the rose here and it does have a lever back clasp. I see the other one guys. Oh my goodness, they're both here. Nothing is broken that I can see, but I do not know what the stone is. Is it an agate? What do you guys think? What stone is that? Is it an agate? It looks like an agate. I'm not sure, but this is gorgeous. Oh my god. This just made my day. I will test these and let you guys know at the end. Let me put it aside because I have to test the other one as well. Okay, Ooh, another bag of beads here. Okay, so these are seed beads with some wood and plasticky ones here okay, here's the here's another ring there's got three of these they're stackable ones oh hang on hang on make some kind of clover thingy here <laughs> okay so we'll test these two and, oh, look at this. Okay, we have an earring stuck here. That's a pretty earring. Looks like amber, but I, I, I don't think it is. Okay, we have a cross. 
Okay, this needs to be cleaned up. It has a cat's eye stone in there. It's beautiful cross. I love the, the necklace on this. It needs some dawn and it'll be good to go. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. No marks, but this is a pretty piece. I see another. Oh, I see the earring mate here to the I don't think that these are yeah these are these look too fake uh, these are faux amber earrings here look at this this is cute <laughs> and statement piece here that's fun okay it's clean this doesn't need to be put into crafts oh wait a minute wait a minute why are these just dangling do they need to be attached somewhere I don't know. Oh, I think they do. You know what? Yeah, they do need to be put in crafts because they seem to be detached and there's no loops. I'll just go ahead and put it in crafts then. Monet back here. Yeah, Monet. Beautiful. Let me see if we have the other one in here. Yes, we do. So we have the mate to this one. It's silver tone here and gold um, edging on this one. So it's two tone. It's beautiful. Wow. I like these. Look how huge they are. <laughs> beautiful vintage uh, Monet. Okay, we have another bracelet here. When I see these bracelets, I get happy and then I realize, okay, guys, now I'm going to stretch this. And if it doesn't stretch good, that means it's going to have to go into crafts because I don't know how to repair. See? And we have that situation right now where I'm not going to stretch more than this because it's going to fall apart. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in crafts. Somebody else can re-string these because they are pretty cute. So, Ooh. Oh, we have a little tiny cross uh, charm here too. I saw this cross charm in a, in, in a few pieces. Okay, this one's in pretty good shape very sparkly put that in the keep oh look at this cute little plasticky yellow flower this is cute okay <laughs> that made me happy okay we have some pearls here a pearl stretchy and this one's in pretty good condition that's a keep uh, i have a bracelet with colorful stones no marks I don't think that this is anything you could tell because it's really shiny and fake looking <laughs> but it is cute so put that over there and another stretch one here this one's pretty good but kind of weird looking so <laughs> that aside okay here's another one that I'm afraid to stretch out so yeah we don't want to do that we're gonna put it in crafts and we have a memory wire one here what beautiful peacock color beads and a little cross here at the end and it's at it's on one end i don't see one here they must have put it only on one but this is beautiful colors so let's keep another stretch this one's in pretty good condition no, it's not. It's missing some beads here, so I'm putting that. Oh my god, I oh, I'm, I just got stunned. I just looked at the, the recording. I thought it stopped. It didn't. Okay, go. Cool. I'll continue. That was creepy. I was like, what's going on? I thought it stopped for a second, but it didn't. Okay, so we have an enamel um, tassel pendant here. Oh, it's two-sided. This side is beige, this side is black, and it needs some cleaning up. Okay, I just hit the camera, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, we have more earrings. Okay, this is beautiful. Some kind of stone. I think it may be jade. Red jade. Really cute. Graduating beads. Okay, so we have the other one of the glass here. We have a mate to that. We have a mate to this one here. And then we 
have some more earrings. Earrings. I did see this one here. That reminded me of a Monet, but it wasn't. Little grapes. Um, okay, so we're going to go through some of the earrings here and see. Okay, this was, I think, the, was it a Premier Design jacket? Yeah. So we have both of these. We have this one. This looks like a Monet too. Yeah. So we have some Monet earrings here. These are cute and really good condition. And what else do we have? We have oh, we have a wood bangle here. What does that say? 13 MD. I don't know. But you know what this is? There's like leaves inside of here and flowers that I think they either paper mache it on here or something. Very nice. Okay, I do have the other one for this here. I found something similar like this in the previous bag. Okay, and we have this knotted one here. No marks. I might have to lot up these earrings. Okay, we have a match for this one. It's like a brushed gold on here. No marks. <laughs> Guys, you have to see this. A rhinestone toe. Now, who doesn't need this? Somebody out there needs this. Let me know who you are. This is so cute, though. A rhinestone toe. It's so cute. No marks. Nothing missing. Really good condition. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> okay, I didn't see a toe coming out of there today, but it did. Okay, so this one looks like it's Monet as well. So oh, we did get a, quite a few Monet earrings in here. And I have this one too. Um... I don't see anything on this one. No, it is enamel red. Okay, so we have this one. And this is Napier. Some nice vintage earrings that are in pretty good condition. And what is this? Okay, it's a pendant with the stone in there. No marks. Okay. And then we have this pendant with shiny sparkly beads. Okay, it's magnetic, so it's an enhancer that you can put on any necklace. Oh, guys, remember this? I found this, uh, it was in the beginning where I did find the other one. The fuchsia and black hoops. And we have this is this something back here um what does that say der d e r g a r e i don't know guys and look at this it's a it's a brooch and the necklace pendant you can put like a chain through it and wear it on your neck enamel okay we have both of these almond shape kind of hoops we have this bracelet here and this is something no it just says china and the little heart here at the end it's a little pretty gunmetal color and we have a little pin that says n v flower we have another brooch here that's a pendant as well. Oh, this is pretty. Sparkly beads here. And we have this one here. Some kind of enamel work. It's a brooch. And I think that's it. Oh, and these earrings. So that's it for, for today, guys. I will open the other half. Uh, give me a second to test these. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so I did test this one here. It is sterling. 
and uh, these rings I did test them these are not not sterling they're just uh, stackable rings these are sterling guys so these were sterling but I still not sure about the stone uh, what stone it is and this was also sterling the chain and and the clasp so we got these I got a lot of great stuff in here guys I don't even know which one my favorite is uh, but I am seeing this one this is one of my top favorites here I did get a lot of uh, Monet earrings some things that I need to fix a little bit and I do love these ones here on this side that I put um, the beach jewelry which are beautiful I have all these shells and you know the pendants these beautiful things that I will lot up so I hope you guys had fun watching what I'll do is uh, try and uh, do the other one on um, I'll try and do the other one Sunday hopefully I'll, I'll be able to load it Sunday and uh, if you guys are interested in anything please go ahead and write write down below in the comments or you can message me on my email I will add that before, uh, below and don't forget to do the question of the day which is uh, what jewelry am I wearing um, in the cover in the in the photo of the that's always uh, there's always <laughs> guys I'm now I'm confused the question of the day is uh, who made the jewelry that I'm wearing in my jewelry group which is called there's always room for jewelry and if you are not a member already please go ahead and come join the group uh, you're all welcome I will go ahead and put the link below uh, it's a really fun group I hope you guys had fun watching I'll see you all soon this is Anita Fanita saying goodbye